Come here, come here, come here. Come here, brother. Okay, so here we are in East London, and I can't believe it. Sainsbury's have got a meat-free pop-up butcher here. So we're going to go inside and see what they got. So just waiting in line for the, the vegan meat here, and look who's in the line. Who's that? Hey, what are you doing, mate? Hey, hey, hey. How are you? How's it going? Of course, Robbie's going to be here. You're getting some uh, plant-based meats. You always got the scoop on the latest news, yeah. don't you? plant-based fare. Oh, smells okay. better than an actual butcher. It does smell really nice, doesn't it? <laughs> it doesn't Which smell like really blood cool. or... None of it's cooked either. I think it's the ribs no that smell No flies buzz buzzing around the yeah, corpses. That's okay. and... Yeah, that's alright. In the shop. Yeah. Thanks well, so much. Have a nice evening. Okay, so I'm going to that he's okay, so I Look at that. We've got a sign up. Perla, mate. Right. Just like I bought one. Okay. <laughs> None of these had names. None of these sausages used to be someone. No, no. They they maybe were, were a tree or something. They were once or a, a mushroom. Once a lonely mushroom. Just right. a mushroom. Yeah. Minding its own business. Maybe button, like yeah, button the mushroom, something like that. I wonder what a mushroom slaughterhouse looks like. Like this, pretty much. We don't want to let sort of talk in there. I just got out of the most ethical butcher in the world. Okay, this is what we got. So we've got the veggie bacon here. This is from Videra. Marinated tempeh ribs and some mushroom sausages. I can personally confess to these being delicious. They're amazing, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Let's hand some of these out to the public and talk about this meat-free butcher and see what they think. What do you think about this meat-free butcher? It's a brilliant idea. Dying to try it. Are you vegetarian? Yeah. or? Ah, oh, both of you, or just just me. Yeah, you're you're a carnivore. You yeah, I don't eat much meat. Don't eat much meat. Not, not, much, much, though, not, not much. much. We're handing out these boxes from the meat-free butcher. Yeah. This is a yeah. meat-free butcher pop-up. Do you like the idea of that? Yeah, definitely. Do you, Do you eat meat? No. You don't eat meat. Are you a vegan? No. A vegetarian? Yeah. Do you eat meat? A little bit. A little bit. Well, this has, this has sausages. I'll show you what it's it is. Shroom dogs from Sainsbury's. Shroom dogs. Yeah, it's got bacon and it's got the tempeh ribs in there. So. Maybe you can. Uh, what do you think about that plant based meat? Here, you can take this. Yeah. I've, got, I've got a few more, I'm handing them out. So, oh, well, yeah. Thank you very much. Take care. You should make a pizza with a, a vegan topping on there. There's no animals in this meat. Sorry? This is a plant made of plants. Plant, plant based meat. It's really kicking yeah. off right now, dude. Hey, we just went to the KFC, they brought out a vegan burger, they sold out in four days. Yeah, I know. So, it's been crazy. I can see the response here outside. Awesome, mate. Enjoy your vegan meat. <laughs> No animals, no, 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 no um, slaughterhouse, no, better for the environment, tasty. You're not really into it, huh? I don't love uh, stuff that's pretending to be me. You don't like it? Have you tried it? I've tried some of it. Okay. I, I like eating vegetables as vegetables. Oh, okay. People are also asking, like, why do we have to call it bacon and sausages and burgers and steaks? We, and the, because we're trying to get in there and infiltrate and give people an alt an alternative with the same name so then they know oh that's supposed to mimic that what do you think it's a bit weird that they're trying to imitate meat products yeah. with plants yeah that's interesting but do you ever think about like actual meat is from an actual animal that was actually killed do you yeah. not think that's weird or do you think that's just normalized now i think it's i, I pay attention to it but it's, you've uh, seen a slaughterhouse no you haven't no. yeah i've been inside of them and they like when i go into a butcher it smells exactly like a slaughterhouse, that blood and that fear and but when you go in there it smells like plants. Well you know what why do they why do they use euphemisms for pig flesh and for yeah. cow flesh and why do they call it beef and bacon and yeah. you know they don't actually call it dead pig yeah, yeah. flesh do they? So Yeah no I'm I'm up for it. I'm not, you up for it? I'm We're handing out boxes here. This is for you. Really? Well, this has got um Do I need to No you don't have to pay for it in a refrigerator right away though. No no no, no it's plant give somebody else. But. Okay. You know? I, no, I'm, I'm all for it. I just, um, yeah. You know what? Here's a card. This is, um... So are you through Sainsbury? So are you... No, no, I'm just a vegan advocate. Oh, okay. Yeah, animal rights activist. Okay. This is good for animals. No, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> eating a lot less meat than that. That's good. That's great. Well, Sainsbury's got some good options. Here's a vegan challenge on the back here and some great information on the front. So, land of hope and glory is what I was talking about with the slaughterhouses and stuff. Yeah, no, so. I know it's... I, I don't like the meat industry. I carefully buy my meat. 
Is there a careful way of getting sourcing dead animals? I don't know, they're yeah, all getting they're killed. All I know. <laughs> Some are worse than others. Yeah. True. But you know what's best? No killing. <laughs> Thanks, brother. This is a meat free butcher. There's no animals in this meat. It's it's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, brother. Yeah. He was too scared, like he's doing clapping and walking off, but... Come here, bros. Come here. How you going, mate? Good, bro. I'm Joey. Good. What do you think? What do you think of this meat-free butcher here? I'm not sure, man. Is it weird? It's weird. Where are you from? Dublin. Dublin? Yeah. Ah. What do you think? They've got mince, they've got sausages made out of mushrooms. I get, I get it, but I like, I like the flavour. It's, it's all about the flavour. About the taste. I understand people who don't eat meat, but I'm just saying. I'm just you don't eat meat for, like, ethics? Like, you understand people don't eat meat because of the ethical implications, or...? It's a personal view. I don't really care. You don't care? No, I'm not everybody for themselves, but, like, I, I like the flavour. Just, you just, you the can't taste. Beat it. The taste. Do you think the taste justifies the slaughterhouse, though? You kill it, you eat it, yeah, it's fine, man. You kill them, you eat them. It's yeah, okay. it's like it's not, you know, it's, it's all in, it's all in. Have you seen a slaughterhouse before? Yeah. You have? Yeah. Yeah. What did you think of it? It just didn't really affect you that much. No, not huh? really. Like, look, I don't mind paying like a hundred pounds for a piece of beef. It's a piece of beef, right? Yeah. But I was just joking. No, no, you can have a joke, man. Like, I don't know. It's just, do you, are you are you leaving to go home, or are you going to be out drinking? I was drinking. Out drinking, because yeah. oh, I was going to give you this, but what is it? It's a little pack of uh, vegan meats that you can no, try. You can keep it for somebody. Who, yeah, but I get it. I like. I've tried like, but it's just the flavor. It's like meat. Just... I used to eat steak every night, dude. I understand, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen slaughterhouse footage. I connect with animals. I don't want people to hurt dogs, but no. But for me, for me, it's like it's it's it's, it's not even a hunter mentality. It's like it's like fishing, right? If you fish and you catch a fish, you eat it, right? Mm. That's my that's my philosophy. So. so if you think if you eat them afterwards, it justifies the killing. Even if we live well, in a society nothing, where nothing justifies killing anything. But I like. But you said I taste. Like, it's, a, it's a taste, and I like to eat meat. Yeah. So yeah. if you, you you think it's not morally justified to kill animals for food, but we still do it because they taste good. And it's a personal thing. I, it's a I personal like, thing. I like, I like the taste. If people want to like not eat meat, it's fine with me. I want to leave you one more question. Do you think it's really personal if there's another animal involved? It's more like, you know, it's, not, it's a personal thing that involves someone else. What do you mean? Well, like, do you view animals as victims? As Like, they could be uh, victims of violence, animals? Yeah, I mean, obviously, like, they have intelligence, yeah. Yeah, like, so if there's someone else involved, and it's not really too personal because there's an impact, there's a consequence of that choice. Of course. Yeah, so it's more like not really personal anymore if you involve like a dog or another animal or someone else yeah but like it's a personal thing i just like the i like meat and, I'm, and there's some, it's somebody who didn't grow up on meat to be really honest with you and my mum was a vegetarian she was yeah. she still is well she's dead now but uh -huh. yeah um but yeah so like i didn't have meat growing up and then i had chicken which i did but i didn't have beef because of like bsc and all that sort of stuff and um and then I like got me later in life, and yeah, I like meat. So. Here's a card, challenge 22, vegan challenge. But on the on the front here, it's great information. And it's cool. I get, I get, I get what you're doing. It's good when idea. you when you look at that meat, you think you, is it going to go? Is it going to go? Is going to go into Sainsbury's with it? So, yeah, yeah they they got all these options in Sainsbury's in the vegan section, really? vegetarian section. So yeah. Okay, cool. Suss it out. Yeah, see you. On. What's your name? Joey, man. Carl. Nice good to meet, meet you, Carl. Take care. So yeah, interesting conversation with the, with Carl, the meat-eating troll, who walked past and yelled something out and then said he was only joking, his mum was a vegetarian. But I was going to leave him with the fact that next time you look at that meat, see an animal. Don't see the piece of meat, see the animal struggling for their life in a slaughterhouse. I think it's amazing and I hope it kicks right off. And people go, oh my god, it's weird, you know, you're, 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 you're trying to mimic um, the flesh of an animal with plant-based alternatives. You know, we have to adapt to a meat-eating culture and society, so this is the best sort of strategy we've got to try to transition people away from animal foods and make it mimic the same textures and tastes that they're used to without the violence of a slaughterhouse and the environmental destruction of meat products. I think it's fantastic. Yeah, I know the uh, story behind it, yeah. with all the methane and everything else, you know. Environmental destruction and mm. what about the animal themselves going through the slaughterhouse process? Oh, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, they have a very short life, don't they? It's, well, it's either full of suffering or it's just a, a vicious death in a slaughterhouse. Mm. What do you say to the people that say, oh, but like, why do you vegans need to mimic the taste and look of me? Because we were gr grown up in the same meat-eating eating culture with the same textures and flavours as well for so many years. We, it's not that we necessarily don't like the taste, it's that we don't like the violence and the environmental destruction that goes with it. How you going, brother? What do you think about this? What do you think about it? It's weird? It's different, man. It's, it's different? different? What do you think about meat without animals being slaughtered? Think it's a good idea? It's good, man. It's something different. It's nice. Yeah. It puts a little bit of colour to the street. Yeah. Bit, bit healthier. Definitely, definitely. And... We should talk about the number one killer of human beings, which is heart disease, yeah. and... And what's that caused by? Uh, saturated fat, cholesterol, trans fats, all of these things that are so prominent in meat products. And how can we avoid it? Whole foods, plant-based <laughs> diet. You know, clinically shown to reverse it. Um, the Esselstein's uh, study that he did. It's way more profitable, more, way more profitable than that. Oh, wow. Sure. Do you have a restaurant too? Yeah, just in the corner there. Do you have any vegan options there? Yeah. Quite. And we're working on a new menu as well, we've got another 10 items coming up. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, the shrimbles. Oh, yeah. Most Sainsbury's will have them in the, in the vegan oh, right? vegetarian yeah. section there, so... Oh, okay. yeah. No animals, they mince up the animals in the sausages, kids don't even know they're in there. Oh, right. Yeah. So this way, yeah. mushrooms. Okay. Yeah. A mushroom slaughterhouse is probably better than a pig slaughterhouse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what about yourself, do you eat animals? Indeed, I do, yeah. Do you? How do you feel about it? I do never really thought of that. Mm. I'm not kind of way, to be honest. You see a slaughterhouse before? I don't really watch it. Yeah, I've it's seen for like hours and hours of it, and it's really horrible to see like them wanting to live and then they're getting hacked up. And, yeah. Something that we should all think of. I think we should all, yeah, for sure. Do you want to take this with you, mate? This is a little, yeah. little box. Yeah. Thank you very much. No worries, brother. Take care. He's got a vegan restaurant down the end there, and he's got a vegan option, and he's got... Impressive. It's going to open a vegan menu down there, too. So what do you think, Robbie? I was very impressed. It looks like meat. It doesn't actually smell like it, but uh, it probably tastes close to it. But it just doesn't smell like uh, traditional butcher in there, that's for sure. I predict it's going to stay open, and they're going to uh, have a lot more. Yeah? Yeah. I reckon it should just kick off and go viral. Like, look how, look how many people come through the door here. Well, that's a yes from us. Yes from Robbie? Yes from us. Yes from Plumbo's News. Boom. The world's changing, eh? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs>